OK, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to use synthetic division. And a big important part that we get to in synthetic division, remember when, when we're using long division, we take the factor, right, and we just divide it, or the polynomial, and we just divide it into our polynomial. Synthetic division is especially useful when we have a binomial that's a, or a polynomial that's in binomial form, and it's also linear. Now, linear binomials happen to also come in contact with polynomials as factors. And we can go from factors to zeros very quickly. So it's important to know synthetic division because a lot of times we're just going to be dealing with binomial factors. And we can usually easily divide them into a polynomial to determine if it's a factor or not, and then determine the zeros. Now, here comes the thing. When we're talking about factors, we said x minus k was your factor. Well, if x minus k is my factor, then remember you set your factors equal to 0, and you could say x equals k is my 0. Okay? And that's called the, you know, that's part of the zero factor theorem that we had. Whenever you have a factor x minus k, then the 0 is going to be x equals k. Now here's where it comes into a difficulty. If I have 3x minus 2, and if I'm saying that's my factor, then what's my 0? So what you do there is you say 3x minus 2, if that's my factor, then 3x minus 2, what's going to be my 0? And you end up getting x equals 2 thirds. Now that's important because a lot of students will say, oh, if they're going to do synthetic division, they might just say, oh, 2 is going to go on the outside. No, it's not just 2. It's 2 divided by 3. And a lot of you have difficulty with long division. You can do this problem with long division very quickly. However, you can also use synthetic division, and that's what we're going to do for this problem. So to use synthetic division, I'm going to take the coefficients of each term. So I have 6, negative 16, 17, and negative 6. And remember, the first number you do is you drop down, which is 6. So you have 6 times 2 thirds, which is going to leave me with 4. Come on, really? All right, I'll do the first one. 6 times 2 thirds. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 times 2 thirds is going to give us a negative 8. Right? Right? Maybe. So 12 times 2 is negative 24. Negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. 17 plus a negative 8 is now going to give you a positive 9. 9 times 2 thirds is a positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Ta-da! Therefore, my final answer, remember remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. 6x squared minus 12x plus 9. That's going to be your quotient, and you're all done. There you go. Hope you enjoyed.